All right, guys, we are here for this all out episode 10. Live reaction link will be, of course, in the description. But, um, yeah, man, this is titled this episode is titled, um, I Ate Too Much Saved Ice. And we find out because at the end, the dude, uh, is from Rio and, uh, my bad. He, uh, the, that big ass motherfucker, anyways, that, uh, that comes up behind him. Uh, the eyes are crazy as shit. He said that he's he's late to the game and shit. He ate too much shaved ice. Gave him kind of a stomach ache or whatever. But um, it seems like our boy wants to be a flanker, and he he was uh given that uh suggestion from Iwa and shit. And um, it seems like Iwa has you know has some issues himself. Several, you know, it seems like he out of everybody seems to have several kind of issues kind of holding him back or things that he's thinking about a lot um he said that uh he pretty much won't qu he said he hates rugby but he won't quit until um his brother can play again his 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 younger brother or whatever but it seems like you know he himself Ewa has been, always been just kind of i guess the more talented out of them two or the more gifted i would say and uh, kind of overshadowed his brother in a sense that's what kind of getting from it as of right so so far from what we've seen but um in this episode the coach pretty much uh took him to the beach well he didn't take him he made him run to the damn beach and then they did a pretty intense workout at the beach and pretty much told him what they had to do in order to be ready for this uh for this you know tournament or something that's supposed to be going on here uh in, in the, uh in the long run well in the near future i would say and you know uh Seki's on was like look we, we we can do this we're gonna double it you know so they're gonna take it seriously and make it happen but um that was a long what six kilometers to the beach they had to run and they got there they had to carry each other they had to do all this other shit i mean and on the sand that shit's tough man that shit is tough doing uh doing workouts and shit on the sand so they're definitely going to uh train their bodies and muscles in definitely a totally new way and um hopefully get uh, ahead of the game a, a, a little bit more um but uh there was that one thing that he said the coach said he was like uh he was like uh digging makes you use all your muscles and you know they said they don't have any weights at at school so he was like the uh the the beach is good because the beach is free so <laughs> i thought that was kind of that was kind of funny but you know they're sitting there digging these holes and they got to fill them back up and stuff so yeah they're definitely doing a overhaul as far as their training but at the end i mean he was definitely seeing some kind of inside look on a flanker and the, the pretty much the the best uh flanker in their prefecture i guess and yeah the dude was a monster uh, he dove in between like through these two dudes legs and shit and except like he was pretty fast as well so you know that's um you know it, it's a position that he's gonna have to learn it's a position that he's gonna have to adapt to and eventually evolve over time but um i guess he has kind of the makeups for it because it was like yeah you know the you probably could be a, a a good flanker you know so that's pretty interesting so um we're gonna see exactly um how he goes about possibly getting better as a flanker and um hopefully some more light will be shed on iwa definitely and um i don't know we're gonna see exactly what kind of goes on from here as we get deeper into this but, all right guys man you know what to do leave them comments below man follow me on twitch twitter facebook do my videos go live y'all and uh yeah Let's have some fun. Doses. <laughs>